Volunteers and the City of Plymouth served breakfast this week to those who served our country. As Kevin Miller reports, it meant more than just a free meal. I'll take your order. Oh, I'm going to do the uh, avocado egg white sandwich. The food brought them here, but they stuck around. Thank you for serving. And which branch were you? I was in the Army. For the conversations and the memories. Believe it or not, I joined the Navy and I got stationed in the desert. I was in Oregon at a, uh, at a bombing range. Well, I greatly appreciate your service here, and I'm glad that you made it back okay. Each veteran came to this Plymouth drive through breakfast reflecting on a past life. This is me when I went in the Army 1955, a few years ago. <laughs> I was lucky I didn't get shot at. Many brought a story of sacrifice. It's a job that must be done. We need to defend ourselves, and I was very happy to do it. Oh, you got your son stuff on. I've got on. my son stuff on, yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. your service. Volunteer coordinator Jackie Moss brought her family stories. It's also personally important to me. Um, wow, look at this. My father served in World War II, and my son is currently active duty in the United States Space Force. She wanted to offer long-missing recognition for people like her son. Many of them have told us that when they came home from Vietnam, nobody thanked them. And so the fact that we are honoring them today Here's your coffee. is so important. In Plymouth, Kevin Miller. <laughs> I deserve it. You do. I appreciate it. CCX News. Thank you for your service. Veterans Day is Monday, November 11th. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.